Welcome to this video on using Quick Import in Microsoft Forms. So if you use Microsoft Forms to create surveys or quizzes, you know how fiddly it can sometimes be to enter all the questions. You may have created the questions on a Word document or any other type of document, and you can use a Quick Import function to pull in a lot of that detail for you. Just like any other import function, it might not pull everything in exactly how you want it, so you may need to make some edits, but it's going to give you a starting point, which is really great, rather than having to manually select all your question types and do that. Now, it's always it's not always going to work for every single question type, but definitely multiple choice and long or short answer questions, it's really going to help for those. So I'm going to select Quick Import, which is on the Forms homepage. And then it's just going to give me a little bit of uh, information so I can create a new form or quiz by using what I already have, upload from this device. I can select a Word or a PDF form. I've got both options so I can try it twice and show you what that looks like. And there is some import guidance as well that you can have a look at just to give you a little bit of help to make sure that your questions are separated you can sort of see a bit of format in there on the example to help you make sure your content, your document is formatted. So it's going to pull in as good as possible. So I've got that. And what I'm going to do now is go and find my Word document. And they're both on my desktop. So the Word document is there. Let's pull it into the middle. And I have a Word and a PDF, like I said. Let's open up my Word document and see what happens. So it's now asking me if I want it to be a form or a quiz. This one's a form. So let's see how long it takes it to pull through. That was very quick. I didn't speed that up at all. And what I'm going to do now is just start a review to look at what it's created for me. Amazing. I'm going to close that down. And which course did you complete? That was one of my questions. Did the course meet your expectations? Yeah. So I had some open-ended questions. I'm going to show you the Word document in a moment so you can see what that might look like. Um, so I've got an open-ended question there and another open-ended question. So that's actually come through as perfect. That's exactly what I had. If I go into the document, I just open up Word, you'll be able to see in there that's the document that I sent through. So you can see those are the questions and it's given me that in exactly the right format. So now I've uploaded that, I can just prep it, get it ready and send it out and start collating that feedback without having to manually create any of those questions, which is really, really cool. Let me try that with the PDF just so we can show and see that it works. So again, I'm going to go to Quick Import and upload from this device. Let's select the PDF instead of the Word. So again, it's going to ask me if it's a form or a quiz. I am going to go for a form and it's going to convert that into forms. And let's just see if it's had any problems or if it's given me, I've not done the PDF one before. So let's see if it's given me it in the exact same format because it would, would usually show up exactly the same. So this one's taken a little bit longer than the other one. So Word definitely happened a little bit quicker but this is still, it's still moving at a reasonable place. There is only four questions. So if you've got a lot more questions, then please just be prepared to sit and wait for a little bit longer because this will take a bit of time, especially if it's fully pulling from a PDF. So right now we can definitely see that Word is a little bit quicker, but because it's a Microsoft app, so it can interface a lot easier with that. But let's see what PDF does so that we can have a look both examples and it's just about done now it's nearly coming through there we go it's done it just took a little bit longer so i can see my form has been converted successfully and again i'm going to start the review you can go in and import another if you want to so let's click on start review and again it's giving me the same information on the right so i'm just going to turn that off and let's have a look that question looks perfect that one does as well and the last two. So either way, whether you're pulling it from a Word document or a PDF, it works really nicely. So definitely one to use if you like to create your quiz questions or form questions 
outside of forms and then you can just import it in which saves you a lot of time and fiddling about answering creating questions and reordering and things like that obviously now i've got them up there i can add more i can change them i can create branching i can create different types of questions and anything like that so lots of really really great product productivity savings there and tips for if you use microsoft forms don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.